Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. Nike Hot Seat, very special guest today. We find him in the nation's capital, and that, of course, is Jarek Kusnick. Uh, Kasnick. Kasnick. I'm going to... I keep focusing on the U and your name, Jarek, and um, the U is actually silent, isn't it? Yeah, the U is silent. It's Kasnick. A lot of people get it. I'll probably butcher it several times before we get done. So pardon me in advance. Out of Benton Area High School in Benton, PA, where is that in, in Pennsylvania? Oh, it's a real small town in northeast Pennsylvania. Um, if you've heard of Bloomsburg University, it's not too far from there. Okay, sure. Bloomsburg, you bet. I love Bloomsburg. Love that campus, by the way. Uh, you were a two-year team captain in high school, obviously well sought after for your leadership ability. But more importantly, you were a three-time PIAA state medalist. Can you talk about your career in high school? Yeah. Um, in high school, I started my freshman year, actually. Believe it or not, I was a 135-pounder. And uh, I had an okay season, but never didn't qualify for states. And uh, that's when I really decided I needed to start working harder. And uh, finally, the next year I got on the podium, I finished uh, fifth place. And from there on out, I just kept working hard. And I mean, the next two years were kind of similar. I finished sixth and fifth. But uh, so fifth was the best I ever did at high school state tournament. But overall, you compiled a career record of 130 and 43. That's that's what what got you noticed at the collegiate level. So we blast off from you know an incredible high school career uh, in Pennsylvania, and you get noticed nationally. How did it end up that you would get to, to choose to wrestle at American University and coach Teague Moore? Yeah. Uh, um, so honestly, I didn't know where I was going to school until. I want to say about a month before I graduated, I mean, I still didn't make up my mind. And uh, American even wasn't on the table at that point. And I was just at home one day and I received a call from T going to say it was late April. Tone, uh, just talking to him and uh, we set up a visit. And I came down and I fell in love with campus. So I decided to come to AU and wrestle here. You know, you're one of those cats, though, that uh, if you look at your collegiate career, the body of work, uh, 67 and 34 overall as we ended last season. Uh, but what's most impressive to me is the within that body of work, you have 30 pins of your 67 wins. So it's almost 50%. It's probably 45% or, or thereabouts. You being a finance major could probably come up with the exact uh, ratio. Yeah, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I like that. That that means that when you go out there, you go out to dominate. Is is that fair to say you, you have a dominating style at 197? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's just always been how I've wrestled. I mean, anytime you get a chance to pin your opponent, you always got to take advantage of it because uh, you never know what's going to happen throughout the match. So anytime you really get a time to put your opponent on his back, you got to pin him. I mean, and also top is probably one of my uh, favorite positions, and that's where I like to work a lot of my pinning uh, combinations. Coach Moore has told us that the improvement that you've that he's seen between your freshman year and your junior year means that you're constantly growing. You're continuing to grow. Senior year now in front of you, you come off a uh, University Nationals victory at 97 kilos, winning it out, and uh, a championship to your credit. Um, First of all, I got to believe Akron, Ohio, is now uh, perhaps your most favorite city. Definitely not my favorite city, <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was definitely a good weekend to be there. Um, it was fun to compete, and uh, I was lucky enough to come away with the title. You had some incredible victories, uh, not just there, but even in your senior year, beating guys like Danny Chade from from North Carolina, uh, Joshua Murphy from Drexel. Uh, you pinned him in two minutes thirty-seven. Is there a match for your, uh, in your mind, that stands out above others from your senior or your junior campaign? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'd probably have to say the match that um, my whole EIWA tournament. I'd say, um, I going into the tournament, I knew that they were only taking uh, four spots for my weight class, and I actually went into the tournament as a seventh seed because I. Uh, lost to a good amount of the competition throughout the dual meet season and um 
I was actually able to just turn the corner there and beat some opponents that I lost to and uh, punch my ticket to nationals. So I, I would just say that tournament as a whole, it was you, a good time to uh, peak for it. You know, I look at some of the guys that you've defeated specifically in your junior year. Austin Severn of Central Michigan, you defeated him by pin, 5 minutes, 14 seconds. But more importantly, he comes from the famous Severn wrestling family out of, uh, out of Michigan. I mean, this is Dan Severn's nephew. Uh, did you realize that before you wrestled him? Uh, no, I didn't. I wasn't aware of that. I uh, just went out and was wrestling and uh, came away with the pin. But, I mean, yeah. It's a good win, I guess. Yeah, it's for, a great. Uh, I mean, he's the beast, dude. He is the beast. Yeah, yeah. with over a hundred career victories in uh, mixed martial arts, dude can absolutely tie it up. He's one of the guys that helped set Arizona State on track to uh, um, for Bobby Douglas at the time, the then coach, but uh, really had an incredible uh, career at Arizona State. We're talking with a young man who uh, just won the University Nationals. Uh, at 97 kilos, how does how does a guy like you, who is now studying finance at American University, home of the Mighty Eagles, uh, Coach Teague Moore, how do you get yourself into an event like the University Nationals? And then further, how does it get paid for? So I honestly didn't know if I was going to be competing at University Nationals. I mean, I'm really busy right now. Um, since school ended in the early May, I started this internship and I would have about working about between 30 to 40 hours a week so I didn't know if I was going to have time to make the trip out and uh, I mean training for it it was kind of uh, tough because uh, our team practices right now are around 9 a.m. and I'm at work so luckily uh, our heavyweight coach Chad Hankey would come in early with me before I had to go to work so we get some workouts in and uh, get ready for the competition and I mean, we weren't training super hard, but, uh, I mean, we did enough. And um, it was just, we're just trying to get better in the off season right now. I mean, going to compete at the tournament, obviously, when you go out there, it's a goal to do as well as you can. But all of this is just still practice for uh, my final season. You know, that final season, did you ever think there was going to be a final season? Yeah, I... I mean, it's it's like mortality, right? You never really think yeah. you're gonna die, and and for a wrestler that's been wrestling as long as you have, it's hard to believe that at some point there is an end of the road, right? Yeah, I mean, I I still don't really see it yet. I mean, it's still a good amount away in my eyes, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be weird just knowing that it's my uh, last season. But uh, I mean, I've been doing it since I was six years old, so to think that it's uh, finally coming to an end, it's pretty crazy how, how, how tight are you on weight could you drop the 84 if i needed you to drop the 84 uh no i so my freshman year i actually started at 174 halfway through the season i bumped up to 184 and that was still a tough cut and then uh since my sophomore year i've been at 197 and I'm a happy 197 <laughs> are, are you able to eat pretty much what you want to eat as long as you're eating smart yeah, uh, I mean, making 197 isn't too tough. I mean, I can't just eat everything I want whenever I want, but uh, I'll have to start maintaining my weight more towards towards the season. I mean, I'm not really too worried about it now. I'm mid uh, mid 210, somewhere around 210, 215. Right I was now, I, I was going to say 205. Yeah, a little <laughs> a little heavier than that. I wish I was a little lighter, but it's. Uh, Still got some time. They say the camera adds ten pounds. So uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> All right. So you are. You mentioned you're in an internship at what company? Uh, RBC Wealth Management. Okay, and that's your goal is to be a financial advisor and managing money, uh, managing finance. Uh, how are you doing academically? Uh, pretty well. I mean, our whole team is. Uh, we actually came away. I want to say third. Um, third best GPA for all wrestling teams in the country this year. Um, AU is very academically uh, driven school, and yeah. the guys on the team really go through with that. It doesn't hurt to have Teague Moore at the helm because he's uh, he's incredibly smart as well, but uh, it, it it's neat when the entire team 
uh, elevates itself with great performance academically, and then the fun comes when you get to wrestle and uh, yeah. and let it all out, right? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, definitely. I know. Um, I want to say this semester, past semester, was the best team GPA for a semester in school's history, and I want to say it was somewhere around a three six. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you noticed that wrestling as a whole across the country, the GPA, average GPA as a whole for the sport, uh, has increased, and it's it's not just a little bit; it's increased by quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's it's um, almost it's like a new age for wrestling academically. Yeah, I know. Um, a few years ago, I we have this poster that um, I want to say 2009 or 2010 that. Uh, AU's wrestling team had the number one GPA in the country, and it was about a 3.22 something. And um, this this year, our team actually had a three point, close to a 3.5 for a semester or for the cumulative GPA, and we still didn't come away with the top GPA spot. It's crazy because back when I was in college at the University of Iowa and other schools, academics was part of the conversation, but it wasn't a focus. And we were happy with the 2, 2.0, 2.1, 2, 2. You know, we were, we were very pleased to be right in the middle. Not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think it's yeah, neat that... Uh, it's definitely turned the corners to... People are beginning to see that there is uh, life after wrestling, and the <laughs> academic side is really important. Yeah, what a shock it is to find that there is life after wrestling. <laughs> so focused. You guys are so focused, especially at American University, doing a great job there. Um, how important is Tig Moore to, uh, you know, and his leadership to your success overall? Uh, yeah, he's. It's really important, you know. Um, just like this, you know, I'm down in D.C. I mean, there's endless opportunities. Like, I get the opportunity to train, uh, and now I'm actually working at an internship that's uh, hopefully going to help me out, help me out in the future. So, Teague really sets it up so you could succeed academically with wrestling, and then hopefully uh, gives you an opportunity to get a good job after you graduate. Was was Greco ever? Um, an opportunity for you? Did did it ever hold an interest for you? I wrestled Greco throughout high school um, just for extra competition. I actually wrestled uh, Greco universities my freshman year, but I haven't since that time. But uh, I'm not really too interested in uh, Greco, I guess. Okay. But I mean, some guys I, I are. We're seeing, we're seeing guys cross the... Uh, the border, as it were, from freestyle to Greco and Greco to freestyle as well. Uh, and I think it's 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 becoming more of a normal thing to do than it is an abnormal thing to do. Would you say that's fair? Yeah, I mean, definitely. It's, uh, I mean, some people's styles match well with Greco. So, I mean, it, some, it's an easier transition for some than others. But uh, I'd say the style that I wrestle isn't to uh, Greco. Or, no. or, yeah. Wrestling's, well. <laughs> wrestling's wrestling. If you get to go overseas and wrestle, uh, yeah. because you took a chance and, and wrestled Greco, I think that's kind of cool. We're talking yeah. with uh, Jarek uh, Kaznick, and uh, if, if yeah. there's a U in there, we're not using it today uh, no. or ever, as far as I'm concerned. 197 pound junior from American University, home of the Mighty Eagles. He's originally out of Benton, PA. Uh, his high school, Benton Area High School. Uh, and when they say Benton area, is that just describing the entire area? Do they really need to use the word area? Yeah, there's a, a few other towns that are incorporated with it because um, just that town would not be big enough to have a school. Uh, just so you would understand, my graduating class was somewhere around 35 to 40 kids. I don't think remember the exact number. It was a public high school, so... I would like to loan you some of those from my graduating class of 676. Uh, wow. I know. Yeah. <laughs> we had folks, be, after they, they would go across stage and get their, their diploma, they would actually take their robe off and give it to the next guy. <laughs> wow. Didn't have enough. No, no that's, that's a lot of kids. 
a lot of kids. Uh, Jarek, it's always good to talk to you, brother. Congratulations on an outstanding performance in Akron, Ohio last weekend. Uh, you know, big, big ups to your club, too, that helped fund that thing. But uh, a U.S. national title, uh, university national title, to your credit, uh, that's perhaps the, the greatest thing you've been able to accomplish so far in your, in your, in your wrestling career. Uh, but what can we expect from you in your senior campaign? Um, you know, I'm just going to go out there, um, keep it. My goal for the summer is just keep improving, uh, keep getting better in all positions. And, uh, I mean, uh, the ultimate goal next year is to finish as high as I can in the podium in, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. So we'll see how it goes. Cleveland, Ohio, the ultimate goal for all wrestling fans. Of course, the NCAA is in March. But, you know, in between then and now is something called the EIWA Championships. You've had some outstanding performances there, and i got to believe that's a focus for you guys as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, our goal for the team is to finish as high as we can, um, try to get a team trophy this year, and get some individual champions there. What room, what's the name of the room you wrestle in? Uh, the Meltzer Wrestling Room. Right, named after uh, Dave's mom, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. or actually, it would be Max's grandmother. Max. Yeah. Yeah, Max's grandmother. I, I think it's called the Marilyn Meltzer. Exactly. Wrestling. Been in that room, yeah. love that room. Tight, uh, well appointed, but you know what? Wrestling happens here. As long as wrestling's happening, I'm happy. Yeah, we actually got some updates to it recently, too. That's cool. Well,. I'm going to be updating everything I can if Teague Moore's around and great guys like you, Jack. Appreciate the time today, brother. Who do you want to thank on the way out? Uh, I just want to thank uh, my coach, Chad Hankey. You know, he's really been helping me out. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I don't know if I would have uh, came away with the national title this past weekend. So a big shout-out to him. Good guy. Chad's a great guy. Yeah. Appreciate the time today. I'll let you get back to work. I know there uh, is money to be made, money to move around. Yeah investments always looking at the uh the bright side you know money starts moving around the world at new york time so anybody living on the west coast needs to get up at about 3 30 don't move to the west coast stay on the east coast will do will do <laughs> jared thanks for the time today buddy yep have a good day jared kasnick our guest of the nike hot seat today i'm scott casper for takedown media thanks for watching this very special interview with our university of nationals 97 kilo champion Thank you.